Hey, what's going on guys? Like Butter here, and today I got a division video because I want to show you guys some things in DZ North that I thought were pretty interesting. Um, I've had some people ask me to follow up about uh, my idea about the whole 4v4 situation because, as most of you guys know, I enjoyed Last Stand as a game mode. I think it's cool. Um, but really, I think the maps are just a little bit too big, and for a game like The Division, 8v8 is a little bit just too hectic. And uh, I really think that this game would greatly, greatly benefit from a 4v4 game mode. Maybe a version of Last Stand or something uh, that could be played at a 4v4 competitive level. Now, I am in DZ North right now. I'm in DZ7. I want to go through some of these buildings that they put in uh, DZ7-9, to 9, which is known as DZ North, and just show you guys the potential that these landmarks have to become 4v4 maps. Now, if you zoom into your map, you look at, like, down south and stuff, like, all the landmarks are super small, right? Like, this is pretty kind, of, like, pretty tiny. Um, the sports store is decent size. <clears throat> Excuse me, library whatnot but if you come up north here and you look at the size of these landmarks and the potential that these landmarks have to become maps now this is huge the nest the alley maybe you wouldn't use these but maybe um the opera house huge the furnace like all these things so let's go in we're at uh the mall here now i want to show you guys how perfect this map would be for 4v4 it's almost like rainbow six vegas like a little mini rainbow six vegas and i really hope they do this because i hate when i see wasted potential in games and this is what we like to call wasted potential because this could be such a good 4v4 map like look at this the way that it's set up you're never going to see people in gunfights in this in last stand even when you know it's this uh you know dz seven and eight you're not going to see people ever in here. Look at the potential that this has to be a 4v4 map. It's actually disgusting. Like, the level design, it's perfect for a third-person shooter. You got people up here that will be able to cross down low. You got people over there that will be able to cross over here. And what you could do... Hold on, let me clear out these NPCs. What you could do is you could make it so that it's, uh, you know, competitive 4v4 round-based game mode. Now, obviously, you know, if it was respawn, it'd be, like, a little too much, I think, because the map is a little bit smaller. But think of a round-based mode. If you don't know what a round-based mode is... Think of Search and Destroy in Call of Duty or maybe, uh, you know, Counter-Strike where it's one round, you get no respawns, and you basically play numbers. So if it's 4v4, one person dies, then it's 4v3, and you move up. And to have no skills, right, no skills, just weapons. Um, maybe, you know, they have, with the new loadout thing, think about how cool this is going to be because you'll be able to switch between, like, your, your loadouts and stuff if you want to, uh, you know, have a different set. Maybe certain sets are, are available and, and some aren't. Obviously, if you're not going to have skills, things like, you know, Firecrest and stuff like that is going to be really useless. But if you have some of the sets like Striker, Sentry, those kind of sets that don't require to have any type of uh, skill involved at all, maybe just have loadouts, like pre-made loadouts that you get when you come into this match. And that way they can balance the PvP better. But just look at this, dude. Look at how perfect this would be for PvP, this entire building. 4v4, round base, PvP, they could even put, like, if they wanted to go crazy with it, put power weapons down, put, like, um, I don't know, skills, maybe there's a skill here that you can pick up in the middle that will uh, equip you pulse, or, um, you know, maybe up here, there will be, like, uh, I don't know, like a, like a, like a heal, or a healing station, something like that. If they wanted to do skills, they could just put them in the middle of the map for people to pick up to get, you know, those uh, th those power-ups. Like, some of these maps, it's just, it's so frustrating because they're built so perfectly for 4v4 PvP, yet, you know, in Last Stand, we didn't get to use any of these. Like, these are so unused. DZ North is, is such a ghost town because there's only 24 players on a server please please massive uh you know red storm anyone watching this like look at this even extends in here like this is mind-blowing you could have one spawn point back here you go out right you spawn in 
4v4 with your group and you move in and look you come in and then you see the other group on the other side and you guys are in a 4v4 situation like dude oh my god just looking at this stuff just it it, it really upsets me because I hate when I see things that have such potential and not be kind of you know used properly like this is just so much like even down here like this this is all the same building unreal oh this is another building here so this will be another map like look at the amount of big landmarks that they have here they have this one here they have this one here the three probably four five six they have a good six to seven maps that's like an entire multiplayer game right there six to seven maps built into the division this would blow up make it 4v4 and then make it competitive multiplayer and give it so that like you know you get rewards at the end of each match and that kind of thing uh, this would be so amazing dude like what the hell man i'm so like i know i sound really whiny right now but it's just i hate seeing like things that could be amazing just not used and i really hope they do this like i feel like there's some sort of potential there <clears throat> Like, maybe this one wouldn't be a, a fantastic map, but, dude, let's go over here. Let's go to the, I mean, you guys have seen the opera, right? But the depot, oh my god, this is such a good one. It's like a, it's like a store. It's perfect for 4v4 PvP. It's like an arena. Now, having, like, those would be the, the, the whole PvP arena that I always wanted in the division. Some sort of 4v4 competitive ranked multiplayer where you can play at a competitive level or you can just play to have fun. Maybe they want to do two different versions of it. Maybe you want to do a ranked and an unranked for people who want to get used to the mode and just play it for fun and still get rewards. Obviously, you're going to receive more rewards in ranked and you're going to get a ranking system. But maybe if you just want to learn and, and try out the different loadouts and learn the maps, that'll be the way to do that. I, I just I can't believe how many like buildings they built it has to be in the plans right like it has to be in the plans because the guys at red storm did such a fantastic job building these big intricate huge like buildings that are built specifically for pvp you can tell that pvp was was <clears throat> in their mind when they were making it but it's not being none of these big landmarks are being used for pvp I mean, with only 24 people on a server, you're not ever going to run into people at these landmarks. And even if you do, it's going to be a, a super quick 1v1. Okay, so so let's imagine here. So, all right, we got a landmark here. So, group of four spawns here. Time-based, just like in Last Stand, where it's like, all right, go get them, blah, blah, blah. I, I don't know, whatever. You run down here, <clears throat> and you run into the map. Look at this. Look at this. Look, look. Oh, my God, bro. Uh, is this even it? Yeah, it is. All right, cool. So look, you got here, you got all these areas here, right? You come over here. There's elevators here. Maybe, maybe the other team spawns over this way. Okay, you got like down here, all the way around this area. And you got back over here. Where this is the main room. Okay, this wasn't even the room I was thinking of. I was thinking there's one that's like a giant. Uh, it might be the armory. Let's go over to this one too, the opera house. Just another, just another map that I could see being 4v4 potential. Now I don't know if they're if the engine holds them back, but look, there's even an upstairs. There's even an upstairs up here where they could put like objectives or something like that. So, um, or or maybe you know the other spawn is up here on the other side. So let's go over, um, I actually want to run over to this spot on the other side, show you guys the opera. I mean, I'm sure some of you guys have seen the opera house, but the opera house is once again, just another little mini map that they could make 4v4. Like even if, if they felt like the maps were too big for 4v4, make it 3v3, 2v2, shit, I don't care, 1v1, not, not 1v1, but if they had to like kind of lower it and make it 3v3, then I would totally understand, but... I just want some sort of competitive PvP in this game because Last Stand isn't competitive for me at all. You can run off by yourself. You can have people running off by themselves, not even PvPing at all, just killing NPCs and getting currency and, and getting like the boosts and stuff like that, which 
I understand that the game mode is kind of just to introduce like a lot of the PvE players into PvP and see what it's like and how much fun it is to play other people and I get that. But I think it's time now for a competitive like 4v4 playlist for people and, and it's not like it's something that they can't do like it's it's in the coding already like the maps are already built all they need to do is make the playlist so that you spawn on opposite sides and, and get rid of our skills. I don't think having the skills is a great idea because it's just going to come down to people like, you know, shooting skills on the ground and just like, I don't know, rushing people down. I think the way to go is to give people loadouts, um, you know, not any like, like, and I know people are going to be like, well, you know, if you strip our skills from us, it doesn't really feel like the division. I promise you it will. Um, because remember, all the stuff that you're going to be doing in this playlist is going to be for the better of your build. Now, I'm not saying strip it away from everybody or, or uh, on every part of the game. Just this 4v4 multiplayer. Like, no skills. Like, let's just get skills out of the game. Just straight up gunplay. Um, alright, so here. This is probably another area here that could be considered a map. So maybe maybe they have the outside blocked off, right? And you spawn outside. Like, you know how in Rainbow Six Vegas, you'd spawn outside of areas and you'd have to run into the building? So let's say that... Ah, oh, you bastard. Alright. So say you, maybe one team spawns here and they gotta come in and they gotta go into this quarantine area. Or is that not a door? Uh, over here. Okay, so maybe like one spawn point's there. Alright, you spawn and run this way. Why did I think that was a door? Hold on. I thought this this building here to the right is something we can go into. It might not be. No, it definitely is. Okay, so it's got to go in this way. So we'll go around. But they could make the maps feel a little bigger by making the spawn points outside. So maybe one spawn point will be right here. Um, and then have it so that this is blocked off. And then you just run in this way to the map or even you have just people spawn right here come inside and then you have this giant map in here for people to fight 4v4 3v3 and you got that way you can go left you can call out to your teammates like oh let's do two left two right come out here maybe you got one teammate that you know is pushing and then there's a guy in the middle there that doesn't know that you're there run around this way get on this piece of cover don't forget you're not gonna have skills so there's gonna be no pulse and something like that maybe you get a cross on the guy there and get him down you push up you're like all right one down one down one down you push up you get the kill then it's a 4v3 situation and then you got to move up and you're like all right there's one in the back blah blah, blah. like i know i'm kind of just fantasizing here but like look at the level design on these on these spawns on these landmarks they're so unbelievably perfect for 4v4 man make it happen red storm massive make it happen you want this game to be more popular than it ever was put things like this that give you the insight of of a totally new game a game that that this game the division could benefit off of like oh man like it's unreal like things like trials of osiris that helps out destiny so much because it gives it gives like levels of the game that's why I love Destiny so much and why I love The Division too is because there's different ways to play the game. There's different levels of playing the game. You have Trials of Osiris. You have PvE. You have the hardcore PvE content. You have regular Crucible. There's so many th different things to do that it's just you always have something different to do throughout the week. Maybe, you know, you have a leaderboard for this. Make leaderboards so that it like tracks your win loss ratio and stuff like that, and how many you know your highest win streak, that kind of thing. If they put that in the division, I would seriously be so so happy. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like all this level design is just getting wasted. It's so sad. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop the video a like. Let me know what you guys think, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.